In this training module, you will be shown how to use the AFB speed control system. The train has already been set up for you. You'll need to activate AFB through the left multifunction display. Apply power to get moving. The train will accelerate until it... The AFB speed control system also works with the LZB safety system and will use LZB's maximum permitted speed to control how fast you are going. LZB is covered in a different training module. You are approaching the station. Let's begin to slow down. The train brake, run.
Well done. You have completed the introduction on how to use the AFB speed control system. Okay. We are much faster now. Continue. Następny moduł. In this training module, you'll be out on the real railway and you'll be learning about the LZB safety system. LZB is required on lines that allow for speeds higher than 160 km per hour as the braking distances are too high for normal signal operation. This train has already been mostly set up for you, but before you depart, you will need to make sure the LZB safety system and AFB speed control system are switched on. The safety switches are in the isolation cabinet. To enable LZB, Enable the AFB speed control system in the left multifunction dis Okay. Set the AFB to 60 km per hour with the AFB speed select. As you are already in an LZB area, the train is already showing the U indicator in the cab and on the HUD which tells you that the train is under active LZB monitoring. There are two primary components to LZB in the cab. The current maximum permitted speed is indicated on the speedometer with a small red triangle and on the HUD by a blue marker. Currently, the maximum permitted speed is 250 km per hour. The distance to the next upcoming change is shown on the left of the speedometer by a yellow bar and a number, which is the number of meters to the change. On the HUD, this is in hundreds of meters, so a reading of 97 means 9,700 meters, or 9.7 kilometers. Below the speedometer, the upcoming maximum permitted speed is displayed. Move the AFB speed selector all the way forward to its maximum 330. The LZB distance counter has started going down and the number at the bottom of the speedometer in the cab is zero, which tells you that you're approaching a stop. You will soon see the LZB maximum permitted speed begin to drop and the train will automatically begin to slow down to stay within it. It will do this all the way to stopping the train without your intervention. However, you should remain vigilant and apply more braking if you feel it's needed to remain within the maximum permitted speed. Keep an observing eye on the progress of the train. Since the maximum permitted speed is reducing, the automated systems should manage it perfectly, but are not a substitute for the driver in charge. The G indicator has lit up on the HUD and on the train display. When this is solidly lit, that is telling you that the train must slow down. With the AFB speed control system enabled, this should happen automatically. However, if you choose to drive without AFB, this is when you should be slowing down. Once the G light starts flashing, you are going too fast and are about to get an emergency brake application. You should brake much stronger if this happens and get back below the maximum permitted speed.
就是。Okay, you're about to see a signal. Its lights turned off. This is called a dark signal. Signals go dark when there is a train in the section they protect. With traditional signaling systems, this would show a red and prohibit you from going any further until the other train has moved. But under LZB, you are able to rely on this more advanced system to let you proceed into the occupied block safely, knowing that LZB will direct you to stop as required. This is the main signal showing no lights, related to the previous distant signal that you passed. You are now entering an occupied block, and will continue to rely on LZB as it brings you to a stop. As you now come to a stop, keep an eye out for the white board on the right-hand side of the track ahead. It will have a number in it. On this line, LZB works by breaking the large main blocks into much smaller ones and representing those by these white boards on the right. This is an LZB block board, and it's this board that your train is not permitted to pass at the moment. You have come to a stop, and the train ahead has already started moving. So momentarily, LZB will recognize this, and the maximum permitted speed will jump up, and you'll be able to get moving again. The white board with a symbol that looks like an X means this is a distance signal, and is warning you that the next main signal is protecting an occupied block. So both this and the following signal will be dark. Continue to monitor progress as the train comes to a complete stop shortly.
You are now proceeding along the line into Würzburg. A few kilometers out of Würzburg, you'll need to handle the train into the station. For now, continue to monitor the train as it navigates the different speeds while you follow the train up ahead. Mamy jeszcze 11 km w ciągu jazdy.
In a moment, the ender light will begin flashing on the HUD and in the cap. Once this happens, you will have 10 seconds to respond to it. You will need to press PZB release. If you fail to do so in time, the train will begin braking towards zero, but you can still press PZB release at any point to regain control of the train. The ender light flashing signifies that LZB control will be coming to an end soon and it is therefore crucial that the driver confirms they will be taking back full control of the train. Once acknowledged, the ender light will remain on and solid, confirming that it has been acknowledged and reminding you that LZB will be ending soon. Once LZB actually ends, the light will go out. You do not need to acknowledge the final end of LZB, but your AFB will become inactive until you reset it to zero and then reapply it. As you are leaving LZB control, it becomes important that you begin reading the signals up ahead in more detail. This one has a 6 below the lights and is telling you that you must be doing less than 60 km per hour by the next signal. Begin slowing as required. The ender light has just gone out completely, which means that you are now completely out of LZB control and back to traditional signaling systems. The U indicator has also gone out, confirming LZB is no longer active. And the B indicator has come on, letting you know it remains ready to come back online later. By now, the train should be going around 60 km per hour, as instructed by the previous signal. And the next one, with the 3 at the bottom, is instructing you to be down to 30 km per hour by the next signal. Now that you are out of LZB, you should reset the AFB selector lever back to zero. As you are approaching a stop in the station ahead, however, you should not... This signal with two yellow lights on it tells you that the next signal following it is a red stop signal. So you should prepare to stop. In this case, the stop signal is at the other end of the platform where you will be stopping anyway. But it is good to be aware of the upcoming signals. Now that you are out of LZB, you should reset the AFB selector lever back to zero. As you are approaching a stop in the station ahead, however, you should not reapply it. Continue into the station using the throttle and brake as required. Zug der 
ein Foto.
You've arrived successfully at Würzburg. Well done. That concludes this training module. Please repeat this module as many times as you wish by finding it in the training center until you get used to how the systems work. Kończymy to na teraz, ale pójdziemy ogarnąć co trzeba i wrócimy do tego. Dzięki za oglądanie, zapraszam do subskrypcji i na Twitchu i na YouTube. Tam się będzie wszystko pojawiało na bieżąco. Dzięki, hej.